Hey guys, before we get started on the video, I wanna tell you a little bit about AG1 by Athletic Greens. I've been implementing it into my daily life. It is full of 75 different ingredients that include minerals, superfoods, vitamins to really get your day started off right. So one of my goals for 2022, I put a list of all of my goals on the home screen of my phone, and one of them is to be healthier. And I'm healthier by being more active in the gym, but also simplifying my supplements because it's really about the long-term game. And you can declutter your cabinet with all the vitamins and supplements by just switching to AG1. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that in your life. Not only has my performance and recovery greatly improved, but also my energy levels have been through the roof, which is incredible because as you know, we live an extremely active lifestyle, doing so much, trying to squeeze it all into such a short amount of time each one of our days. AG1 has just simplified it, made it so much easier in my life to be more organized and healthier at the same time. In my work every day, I tell my patients that they have to take vitamin D before surgery. And for my community, you guys watching the show, Athletic Greens is giving each of you a one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D, as well as five free travel packs. So go to athleticgreens.com forward slash teeth and turbos to get yours today and get yourself organized and healthier. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. You've been asking, we got Sam back, and today we're gonna to be going over clay barring on his beautiful, tell us what it is. It's a 1964 El Camino, which in that period they called it Chevelle. It's like having the Chevelle badging on the front, El Camino badging on the rear until they decide kind of what they were gonna do, but it's a real 64 El Camino. So he's really excited to tell you more about his detailing experience and what you need to learn in order to be able to tell when your car needs to be clay barred. So we're gonna go over how to tell when it needs to be done and then actually showing you the process for what Sam's been doing for years, right? That's exactly right, that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's get to it. Let's begin the process. Well, first off, we gotta show him the car. She's a beauty. How long have you had this thing? Oh, I've only had this car about, mm, this is going on 10 years on this car. So okay. Not a long time in the car world, but then, then a long time in the car world. But, <laughs> right. You know. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to simulate washing the car. That's correct, that's correct. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this particular one, this is your clay lube, but it's going to suffice as just like we're simulating a wash here. So we're going to spray it on, of course, take our towel and wipe it off. And that would be the same as if you just took in and washed the car. And what I'm trying to do, or not trying to, but doing, is to get anything off the surface that will come off the surface under a regular wash. With that said, let's do it. Okay. Let's put this onto here. So we're just simulating as if you wash your car yep. any other time, whether it be with soapy water, Sam's just using this, and then we're gonna show you how to tell when your car needs to be clay barred. Next car didn't need washing. All right. right. With that said and done, a lot of times you mention to somebody, your car needs a clay barn. They're going to say, really, what's that and why? After you've simulated the wash, you feel and you think, well, that don't feel bad. Let me feel it. Yeah, it feels great. Then you say, well, okay. This is, the, this, is, this is the trick I've been this really... This is the here. Okay. So see. what you want to do is, it's just taking the feel away from your fingers and it comes okay. to you. So you want to put it on your surface and you run it along and you think, oh, what is that? Now, if you will, put your hand in here. Yep. Now run along, just glide it along the surface. Oh, wow. Feel all them bumps? It's a completely different feel. Well, that lets you know there's something on that surface that did not come off with your wash. So it feels you, smooth with my fingers, and then, exactly. when I, and then when I use a plastic bag, it's a completely different feel. It feels real bumpy. It does. Well, imagine this. If you leave that and put your wax on it, be it spray wax or cream wax or whatever wax you got, you're really just waxing the contaminants. So now that when you come back and wash it or whatever, you just wash it right back off again. Give your wax a bad name. So let's give the wax its due. The wax is to go on the clear coat, or if it's a single stage, to go right on to the painted set. So let's give it a fair chance at it. So now then, with that said, let's take our clay bar. Yep. And now there's many grades of clay bar. Okay. I use the, what's called super fine. 
and you're gonna have some that rough, but you don't want your clay bar leaving a mark in your surface on that. Mm -hmm. Now this one here is gonna be if you'll it feels like clay. It feels, feels like clay. Feels kind of tacky. So, this is a what they call a hundred gram bar. You can buy them in two hundred gram bars and whatever on it. And you're going to take you a clay lube, and what it is, it's to add lubricity. How about that big word? Lubricity. To your surface. I just like so, it. you know, I usually put some on my surface. Because you can't just rub the clay bar on a dry no, surface. On a dry surface, it'll just bunch up. Yep. You know, and you don't want that. It doesn't do any good. So you want to have it where it glides along your surface. Mm -hmm. And you want to do it in linear fashion, front to back. Front front to the back of the yeah. car. No circular motion on this. Okay. And you don't want and to go side to side. You don't want to do circular. You want to go nope. front to the back of the car, linear motions. And a lot are going to say, well, how much pressure? Well, you don't have to jam it down, but don't let it just glide over it. You want to then look and see. Now, you see around the edges where you're starting to pick up something? That's just in that little bit. Yep. Well, that's contaminants on the surface. Now, okay. the time we go over is old area here. And you don't have to be too liberal with it, with, with your clay lube, but you want it enough to where you keep the surface lubed to where your clay bar can glide. Damn, I got a question. Please. Why do you clay bar a car and why does it work? Like, what is the whole purpose? What are you doing? Let me exactly. tell you a little bit about a clay bar. The, all the patents for a true clay bar are Japanese hailed. And there's no American company that makes any, none. Uh, matter of fact, they're not, they don't release the patents for it. So with that said, you buy your, you, no American company can sell you one because we can't make it. Now they make it in from a red, and usually it follows the industry standard of color, your red being the roughest down to your super fine using a lighter, whiter, lighter gray color on it. Yep. And the need of, well, how else would you take that off? And a lot of you, my guys that heard them say, well, we just buff it. What about the guy that doesn't have a buffer? Maybe he might injure the paint with doing buffing if he had one. Mm -hmm. So let's just take the easy route, clay the surface. Now let me take our towel and yep. we'll take this excess lube off. So all you've done so far is spray clay. After you wash your car, mm -hmm. all you've done is taken your clay lubricant, mm -hmm. taken the clay bar, run it back and forth in linear motion. That's correct. And now you're just wiping off that lubricant. Let's wipe off that lube. Yep. Put this aside and have it on here. Now then, you want to come back, same bag. Same bag. And we're in the same video, so you want to say. And then if you miss any, you can. Then if you miss any, come back for the second time on. That's a completely different feel. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have a couple little places. Yeah, I feel. I, I missed one right there. And I missed one right here. Yeah, but I would say it's improved by 80, 90 percent. Oh, yeah. And that's really, in essence, what you do. Because you won't get it all the first time. So you just take your process once again. You add this area here. Back into here. Now, on a car that has more impurities on the paint or on the clear, and you're considering clay buying your, clay barring your car, why would you just, would you go straight to super fun clay, or would you use? I, what I have a tendency to do is, on the, Clay bar is too rough or too abrasive. You start to put scratches into the surface, mm. which defeats the whole notion of here. So I might have to do two applications with this. Then, if it gets too dirty, you just you can fold, fold it up, fold it into itself. Mm -hmm. There, clean surface, ready to start again. All right. And we'll do this. Uh, and it's tacky enough to stick in your hand. But now, guys. For all you guys, you ego guys like myself, if you drop this down here, be a man about it. Throw it away. Because you can't just fold it up and no, keep going. You, you say, well, maybe I can pick all them little granules out. Good luck with that because the next time you think, I got them all out, you go up here and it's like, oh, where'd I get that scratch? Yeah. And that, so We've all done be it. Be a man about it. We all tried it. Oh, I can pick it all out. <laughs> no, you, you wind up with a scratch in your paint. Now it's like, oh, do I go to the paint shop or do I? Who did I tell I've done this? Right. If it flies out of your hand and hits the ground, this thing is like a sand magnet. It'll pick up sand from everywhere. So when it does that, admit defeat. Say, so, okay, flew out of my hand. There. Now, wipe that off. Give it a little test here. There we go. Let's feel it. Huh, that's incredible. 
And that's what you want for your, and it doesn't hurt to check your car all over for that because unless and until you get that off, then you, you're just gonna wax your contaminants. So okay. That's, that's not the steady product, guys. That's when you washed it off, sometimes you can feel it and it's so rough you can feel it just with a natural hand. Mm -hmm. Put your plastic bag on it, give it a try, it's like, oh, okay. Then it's at that point, now then, if you're not going to take any scratches out, if you don't have any scratches in your surface, I mean, you're not taking them off, say, with fine cut compound or anything, you're technically ready for your wax. So, this particular one here is ultimate paint protection. Yep. And it's, oh, sorry. Some kind of an edge. And you want your applicator pad. Don't have your applicator pad where it's going to scratch the surface. So right. you don't have that too rough, you know. And you have, and on this, you don't you don't need to have it. That's for the area we've done. About that's a half a dollar. Part of just, yeah, for what I've done. Now you can put this on circular or linear. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Okay. I know the traditional wax application is this, and that's okay if you want to do it there. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to go over the surfaces that we went over. Okay. Question time. Now that we're done with the clay bar, I got to know, why do you need to wax your paint after you clay bar it? What's the purpose? Let's give your paint and our clear coat a fighting chance. And you're saying, from what? From UV. Yeah. Because UV will wipe it out. And you know, you guys are going to check me out on this, and that's fine. You On some paints and our clear coat, they can get sunburned. And you're like, yeah, this guy's off his rocker. No, what it does is it has a tendency that the UV is so hard on, it starts a color, color change into your clear coat. Yep, yeah, I'm going to show you a picture right here. This is what he's talking about. And it'll be a slight change of that going to another color. You know, and it just it fades it away. It's UV deterioration, what it amounts to. That's the big reason for the wax. Now, it's nice to feel this one. Shedding water and easy to wash the next time and all that. Yeah, that, those are all add-ons. Yes, they are. But the big one is for the protection of your clear coat slash your paint. On your wax, give it, on this particular one here, you can give it five to 10 minutes in your section. Sometimes if it's not blistering hot, I mean, you can put it outside if you want to. I just do the whole car. Wax around it, come back with my removal rag on the thing. And you see this wax should done go to a real white haze. It's just a real light haze that it comes to. This is dried here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see it right there a little bit. So you wait for the wax to completely dry before removing mm -hmm. it. And even, and you say, well, what about if I left it for a couple hours? You can do it, it won't hurt anything. This is not one of them waxes where it's going to get so hard on the surface that you have to nearly grind it off. That's not the case of this wax here. Then when your, when your time is elapsed, usually give it 10 minutes or so at least. And then just come back with a your cloth. And I know they're going to say, oh, that's a setup vehicle. No, not really. No. This is, my, this is my driver here. That wax is that easy to take off. It really is. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what we started with. Mm -hmm. Dirty paint. We all have it. Now look. Clay barred and waxed. Then give that a Parker touch there. With bag or hand, no bag? Hand. You can just by hand. <laughs> it's incredible. Like All right, let's do it with the bag. <laughs> what Check a it. difference. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, or it truly felt like the surface of an orange and they talk about orange peel with paint right. but you know once you clay bar it to remove all the impurities that are in the surface or on the surface of your clear coat and then you use the wax to wipe it off to protect it from the uv like yeah, you talked about that's exactly right it's an incredibly different feel i'm and blown away what i didn't go over is your clay bar you can use on your glass oh you can let's just say that if you fell on your glass with the, with the bag and you said Man, the glass is even got it. We can use the clay bar on that. Really? Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. do you follow it up with any kind of rain -X or anything? Or You can, you can if you want to, you can do that on it. Uh, I have a, and most of my vehicles on the thing after I've got it completely clay bar on the window. I take my spray wax to it and give a little. Yeah. 
Gives it a good coat. The spray mm-hmm. wax? Oh, yeah, this oh, is spray hold wax, on. Man. We got to show them about the spray wax because if you all haven't heard yet, Sam's own spray wax is available on the Cletus McFarland website, and it is a hot ticket item right now. Yeah, right now. It's going, going on good on it, I think. And, and, and I'm not saying this, this sounds braggadocious, and I apologize. It does work. It works like it's supposed to. It's not just a fragranced water you know, with a little bit of color, mm-hmm. it actually does work. Could they it. use your spray wax instead of the wax that you used? Or is that different products, no, different purposes? You could, let's just say you had, you wanted to do the, you know, what we could do if you wanted to, we'll just drop back here to say, let's put this, let's just move right back here and let's do this. Okay. Then you, you may have seen this already on there and here's his in person, with the person, you know, and that, just odd enough, that's not my brother, that's me because I don't have a brother. <laughs> and you, <laughs> Sam says, right there it is. And it says, Y'all ready for this? And it's really something to be ready for. Use, and I do use my own stuff, by the way, I don't think, okay? And you need you a good quality towel. Yep, so you get the towel and the spray wax. Yep. Link in the description for Sam's product. It's been using it on all of our cars. It's, it's amazing. And the thing of it is, you know, can you use the lesser towel? Sure can. But sometimes you got to watch your own towels, guys. A lot of times the towel, if it's too rough, mm-hmm. you start to put light scratches into your surface. Yep, it actually has two different surfaces, mm-hmm. right? Well, see now on this embroidery, mm-hmm. this embroidery is made out of silk. Now, silk will not mar any of the surface on it and won't do any kind of scratch. Mm-hmm. That's the reason being for the silk embroidery around this. Yep. Is you don't want the embroidery of your towel putting a mark onto your surface. Right. So okay, uh, but it, there's two different lengths of the fibers. There's the yes. longer fiber and then the shorter fiber. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I like how it's silk bordered. I didn't know that people oh, were asking that, about that. And that, that silk on it, what it does, like I say, it has no, is, this will not, cannot mark, mar your surface, cannot put any scratches in it. I like that about it. Some of the towels out there. Uh, okay, so to carry on about my question about using his spray wax mm-hmm. instead of using a a traditional wax that you use after the clay bar, he's going to show us why you should not do that, right? Hmm? I mean, well, what you can do, I want to show you, I don't want to buy the cream wax. Yeah. Can I do it with just a regular? I'm mm-hmm. going to show you the same process, and we're just going to use the spray wax, okay? So okay. let's do that. Yep. Now let's start right here, and I'm going to take in from about the gas filler here to about here. Yep. Here. Think okay, so we're getting the surface washed up, whether you use, uh, you know, soap in a bucket and then wash mitt, whatever. You just need to start with a clean vehicle before you start clay barring. So that's essentially what we're doing now. He's using the clay bar lubricant, but the car's somewhat clean. It hasn't been, you know, waxed or clay barred yet, but you know, we're gonna wipe it down before we start. And we're gonna take this same area here and we're gonna give it the same test that we had. Even though it's kind of on the side of the car, yeah. which is a little bit of a angular here. And we're going to see, does it really need the clay bar? Okay. Oh, you tell me. <laughs> you tell me. Oh, this yeah. Right through here. Oh, wow. I mean, this truly, it, it feels like sandpaper with it the... It does, and when you rub it on here, you think, well, I don't feel bad. But when you put it in the bag, and I used to tell people, you know, the product's free, the bag's $25, you know. <laughs> but that's... As a matter of fact, your spray wax comes in a bag. Uh-huh. That they could oh, test their use, paint with. You can use that. Good point. I didn't mention a minute ago. Someone said, well, what kind of bag do we use? The little bag that your spray mix comes in, save that bag. It's going to be the one to check your stuff with. Mm-hmm. So let's take the same area that we got here. Yep. Let's take our clay lead. In our linear fashion once again. A lot of times you can hear it as it's working. You'll hear it. And after it's quit the noise that it makes when it's taking it off of there, it's like, okay, we can move on to the next place. And someone's going to say, can you really do it that fast? Yes. Now, you may miss a little and have to go back a second time. That's okay. There's no law says you can't do that. Not yet, anyway. And you'll get, see that you start to get the discoloration on your bar here. Oh, yeah. And the heavier that it is on the car, it's much more. And like I said, at that time, just... Fold it into itself. Mm-hmm. And you're saying, well, now after a while, doesn't that impurities you got to start to come out? You'd usually get by with about a four fold. And after the fourth fold? Replace it. Replace it because okay. it'll start to come back out again. I like that tip. Pro tip from Sam. So, and, you, and we're going to take this off. 
for all of you watching this right now, Sam and I want you to take a plastic bag, whether it be from Walmart or whatever you have laying around the house, go out to your car and on a clean panel, feel it with your hand first, and then feel it with it or with the plastic layer, and you will be astonished. This video doesn't really demonstrate how much you can really feel the plastic bag, but I am blown away. What did you got? Now then, Parker mentioned one thing to you guys that I really think, well, he didn't mention it on video, but he said it to me, so I want to give it to you guys, and it's this. You know, after he touched that, you know what he told me? He said, you can really feel the shine. Now, can you believe that? You can. You can actually feel the shine. You really can. Now, and as you mentioned also, it would be nice if you if we could convey somehow how you can feel this when you're putting that bag onto it. It's like, wow, what is that on there? Well, that's what we're trying to take off. Not what we're trying to take off, it's what we're going to take off. So it just lets you justify, say, okay, I do need to do that. Mm -hmm. Because if not, when you put your wax on it, you're just gonna wax impurities, and you put your bag on it and it still feels rough. Well, then the first time you wash it, there went the wax. Yep. And now then the wax has got a bad name, but anyway. Right. So let's take this surface here, and let's come back once again. We're gonna put this up. Uh, same applicator pad, same wax, and we're gonna go over Oh, are you gonna do it with your spray wax? Mm hmm it's a good point. Take two. <laughs> so on this panel, we're demonstrating using the spray wax after the clay bar, and we're gonna show you why you shouldn't do and, that, and right? No, it's actually, you could if you wanted to. Let, okay. Let's say if you didn't have, say, the, the regular cream wax, yeah. you thought, what would the spray wax do? Yeah, but the longevity is not there. Okay. But, would it have, still have a good shine? Yes. UV protection, yes. But still feel slick. I'll let you be the judge. You said it lasts for about what, three washes? You, you get three washes out of this. Okay. Yeah. And on your, we're gonna do a how to wash a car video and you guys are saying, oh, I don't know how to wash a car. No, I mean it really the proper one. It'll be a good one, it'll be worth watching. And maybe we've got things out of sequence on the thing, but let's do this. On your car washing, just as a little tip, make sure that your wash water is a kind of a pH balance, you know, somewhere mm -hmm. in the seven to eight range. Because mm -hmm. if not, you don't want it acidic, or you don't want it alkaline. Because either one's gonna wreck your stuff. Yep. So let's, with that said, let's take a little bit here of our spray wax. Yep, link in the description. Now we're we're gonna give us a little bit. And you don't need, don't, let's have to turn it on here. And so on your, it's got your big spray. Yep. And then your fan type. And then or... your fan type on mm -hmm. there. It's more of a stream on the other one. So we're now we're going to give it a. And that's about all you need for that whole panel. Most people want to get up there and use it like a washing machine. No, don't do that. And you might say after you get this, someone's going to ask, and I'll answer it for you. What is that smell that's in it? It's called awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Yeah, that's that's the fragrance it would put in. <laughs> <laughs> I had them put that in there. Okay, let's put it to the test. Now it should feel the same as the front it'll, quarter it'll panel. Feel the same as your cream wax up here. This longevity just won't be there. I see, so okay. If you're saying, well, I just want to get the bundle, will that do what I'm looking for? Sure. So let's give it to the. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's there. It feel, you can't feel anything. It's amazing. I mean, I don't want to do that as a dirty surface, but wow. Amazing. And it'll have the same, if you'll come with me, while you're there with that, you'll have the same feelings here. Yes, it does. Because this is a cream wax here. It just have a, a longer life to it, if we will, more washes if you want to. But your spray wax has enough in it for three good washes that you're still going to shed water, so you're going to have a good feel to it and be resistant to a lot of stuff that's on your road grime and all. Now then, guys, what we're planning on doing is to have a series of videos and it's going to cover many items and some of the items are as simple as how to wash a car you're saying oh we got to bear with me then one on how to wash tires and wheels and what's accomplished there what's not to be accomplished what products to use when i say what products to use what's not in the product and what is in the product then we're going to do some videos on you can call it paint correction call it whatever you like it's going to be actually a lot of i've had some requests both in person and some online, someone says, how do you do that cut and buff thing? You know, how do you do color sanding? We're gonna do a whole series of videos on that from the very minimal up to some of the max stuff on it. Then with that too, and combined in with that, we're gonna do some interior videos. 
how to properly shampoo the carpet so that you don't have a spot here. We got the spot out, we'll put a bigger spot in it. And how do we clean leather so that I don't take the color out of the leather and that I can restore that on there. So, and with that said, you know, if you'll stay tuned with us, you know, give us a, sub a subscribe here on the thing. Let us know that you're interested, that you would like for this to be a continuance, and we'll do our best to keep more of those coming your way. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.